Hey team, uh, so just wanted to give a quick demo on data selection in Labelbox. So whether it's for finding more cases of underperforming data or it's for organizing data to create task specific models, uh, that's what catalog can be used for here. So um, here you see I've narrowed down all the data I have in my org to just the documents. Uh, and then on top of that, I can do a few different types of search. So if I go into the detail view of a document here, you can see that there are some um, that there are some metadata fields that I can obviously search for. So if I was just going to do a classic search um, inside this database, I can go to my metadata, I can go to the categories here, and then if I want to find everything with this specific uh, category, now I've narrowed it down uh, to just these cases. So, um, so able to do it that way. So that's the first, that's a metadata search, pretty simple. The more advanced types of search that you can do is uh, via similarity. So let's say that I wanted to find you know, some data that maybe had more of a structure like this, so like an abstract page, but I didn't have the data to know it was an abstract page. Uh, but through similarity search, you know, we can find it, uh, whether it's an image embedding. So perhaps these are all introductory pages. There's a few abstracts that I can see just from scanning around. Uh, and then obviously we also have the text embedding. So whatever text might be similar. So now maybe it's abstracts about the same type of topic. Um, and so this is a good way if you don't have the metadata to search uh, like you would in a SQL query or even in these drop down menus here, you can use text and image embeddings to find similar examples of what you might be looking for. And that way, creating task specific models around a certain type of data, whether it be medical text, legal text, financial documents, uh, becomes really simple because you're able to organize the data to train a model to do that task much more quickly. Uh, and then, of course, the, the second method would be, you know, if you were looking for not just uh, similar things, but maybe you had some something that you wanted to search for. And I could just say, you know, science documentation. Uh, and it could pull up all of the examples of, of science documentation. Uh, and then, of course, I want to search the text. Uh, for those words, you can do that as well. This is also a semantic search, um, but if you want to do exact word matching, of course, you can also find exact text within these um, if we have the text layer to, to show that there is that abstract there. Uh, so this is simple data selection in Labelbox, once again, for finding more cases of underperforming data. Uh, for organizing data sets to create task-specific models, and then also just being able to enrich the data, of course, uh, with annotations or even metadata. So, you know, I now know that these are abstracts to science documentation. I could highlight a few of these, uh, and then I can add a classification to these as well, uh, which can be done in bulk. I just have to name the project that I want to send it to, or if I have a project already created, I can do bulk classification on tons of documents at once, uh, which is really helpful for training classification models really quickly. Um, and that is the benefit of having a interconnected system such as this, where data selection can turn into data annotation very quickly. And then of course, you're, you're on to building your task specific models. So uh, thanks for listening. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. All right. Thanks.